<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another unboxing on the Weasel Zone. Today, we got the Siberia 350, a new headset by SteelSeries that is going to release April 15th. So we get an early look at this new headset. It is a 7.1 surround sound headset with custom illumination. What does that mean? Well, just like the Apex M800, you get to, well, pick your color and it will glow which is, let's be honest, something you don't really need, but is kind of cool. It's really cool if you film yourself or if you, let's say, go to a LAN where you get to show this off. Other than that, you're not going to see it just like the keyboard, which is right in front of you. This is going to be on your head, so I think it's kind of cool. The question, though, the big question is, how is it going to sound? Not only how does the sound coming out of it sound, but also how does the headset sound? This is a USB microphone, so it doesn't plug into an audio jack. It plugs into a USB port. So it's probably gonna be its own audio device. Let's have a quick look what it states on the back. Active soundscape. Hear your enemies before they hear you. No need to alt tap to adjust your settings. Inline controls keep you in the game. That's always a practical thing to be able to adjust volume and turn on or off your microphone as you play. Crystal clear. Ooh, retractable microphone ensures your teammates hear you loud and clear. That claim, I'm I'm very curious about the microphone quality. The last Siberia headset I reviewed, well, the headset microphone was absolutely atrocious. So I'm really looking forward to testing this one. Play for our suspension design feels awesome all the time. From my previous Siberia headsets, I can say yes. This suspension design is really nice. It's a really nice design, works great, and really allows you to wear these things for a very long time. And of course, you get the custom illumination going. These headsets will retail for $120 or 119 maybe a little less when you find a good deal online but that's the price I could find right now on Amazon, saying this item will be released April 15th. Well, let's get you out of your box, shall we? Very nice. And inside the box we have a little Steel Series, I assume, booklet with your warranty information or something along those lines. I actually don't know, let's have a quick look. What is inside? <gasps> inside this magic envelope you get two Steel Series stickers, transparent for your case and the 350 manual. I think this is kind of adorable, this little package here. And of course, the headset. I'm pretty sure that's it. Now let's have a quick look at these guys. This is the very first time I'm holding them. Oh, we got some nice matte plastic here. Very, very good. We got some reflective plastic on the inside, which you're probably not gonna touch. So that is really good. I always complain about the use of gloss on devices that you constantly touch. And in this case, SteelSeries was smart enough to not do that. It's all matte, so you're not gonna leave any smudge prints when you take it over your head. The felt over the drivers has a, what do you call that, pattern? Looks like a zebra pattern. I don't know what you call that. I really like the orange. I really like the orange. It comes in a few different colors. It comes in two colors. It comes in white or in this color, which is orange and black, which personally I really, really like. So this is an actual mute switch. I assume four your headset. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the volume control, yes, is on here. Hmm, interesting. They had the mic button on the cable. That was usually a little bit fiddly when you had the button there. Also, the button didn't feel very sturdy, to be completely honest, with the old Siberia. Um, here, on the back, I like that. I really do. It's a cool position for a mute switch. And, of course, the Headset. I'm not expecting too much. I'm not expect. I mean, they say crystal clear sound, so they've been kind of setting the bar here. It is probably not going to be crystal clear sound, but of course we're going to have a quick look, and also we're going to see how they sound and how they feel. All right, so here we have the Siberia 350 uh, in action. I just plugged it in into my USB port. The cable is maybe a little short. I think five to six feet. It could be a little bit longer. Uh, especially since it is a USB cable, so you would have to get a USB cable extension, uh, which is not that expensive or a problem, just, you know, something you want to keep in mind. It is not the longest, and if your computer is on the ground and you don't have a USB port or hub on your desk, you might want to 
consider getting an extension. That might depend on your setup. If you have your computer on your desk, you'll be fine. For example, in a LAN environment, it usually is on your desk. So there it works out just fine. As you can see, it glows. It's a very subtle orange glow. It looks really nice. I, th I think I really like it, especially since it is orange. And well, it was immediately detected as a audio device. It is a very, it is very light. The headset itself is very light and feels good on my ears. I test it with a hat because I always wear a hat. All right, so, oh wow, this is very light. The foam feels really nice. The whole headset is very light. Um, I really like the suspension design on these. That's probably my favorite part about these headsets and it feels really nice. I gotta give them that. They don't make any odd noises. I personally like more of a cloth material on these because after some time you might get a little sweaty um, if you wear them for extended periods of time. A cloth material works better in that regard, but on that they feel really nice on my ears. They also work just fine with a hat, which makes me a happy panda. Now the question is, how do they sound? All right, so I've been playing around with the Steel series a little bit. I've been playing some games, listening to my music and playing around with the illumination. I had to restart the system. It didn't work straight out of the box, which was weird, but uh, after that it works fine. As you can see, I switched it to green. You can pretty much choose anything from the spectrum or just go with a color shift, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it shifts colors right now. Yes, you can. There you go. So this is a neat feature, but nothing I would personally spend money on. It's cool, but it doesn't really affect my purchase decision. It's just a neat little gimmick. And um, yeah, if you're on a LAN or in a dark room uh, with someone else, it might really look neat. When it comes to sound, the Siberia 350 sounds good. It doesn't sound outstanding it sounds good and i think it sounds okay for the price range 120 dollars is okay for a headset if it was not a headset if it didn't have a microphone i probably would say ah borderline the headset sounds good when i was listening to music in games the 7.1 surround sound uh sounded fine i never felt that i needed more than stereo but that's my personal opinion i can't compare it to other surround headsets because i've never really used them but as a gaming headset it does sound fine i like the sound when i listen to music i was missing a little bit of bass first but the steel series engine 3 comes with a equalizer so you can adjust the equalizer settings on your headset Many main boards come with an equalizer or sound improvement on them, which you can't really use since this is a USB microphone. Um, so you have to go with the five band equalizer that comes with it. I was hoping for a little bit of a more detailed equalizer because I'm a little bit of a sound snob, so I really like to move it around until I'm happy with it, but it's okay. It does get the job done. It comes with a few presets and it also comes with a microphone auto optimization. So this is the Siberia 350 headset microphone, the little microphone here in front. Um, the software comes with a microphone auto optimization, which is currently turned off. I'm gonna turn it on now. And all I can see it doing is it increases the volume a little bit or decreases it when necessary. So it, I guess it works a little bit like a compressor. But from what I heard so far of the Siberia 350, I'm not impressed. It is very clear compared to the old Siberia one that I was reviewing early on my channel. The crystal clear sound... I I'm not feeling it. I don't I don't know about you. Crystal clear retractable microphone. Don't get me wrong, the microphone sounds clear. You can hear my voice, you can understand it, but it sounds pretty bad. Yes, compared to my regular microphone, pretty much any headset will sound flat. I'm aware of that. But for the $120 price tag and it being a headset, I kind of feel the microphone falls flat again. I would really like to see a headset from SteelSeries with a really good microphone. This is, it, it It will get the trick done. People will understand you on TeamSpeak. They will understand you on Skype, but it might give them a headache over time. I mean, my Logitech webcam has a better microphone than this, I feel. Anyway, guys, that concludes it for the Siberia 350 review on my part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, that concludes it for my quick unboxing and review of the Siberia 350. Again, the headset will 
will be available April 14th. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway on my blog. I'm going to give away this headset because it is a USB headset. I cannot actually use it with my audio interface. There's going to be a link to the headset in the description below, also to the blog where I'm going to do the giveaway, which will run until April 14th, 2016. So if you guys want to join in there, click the link in the description below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>